Hey guys, here is our brand new story this week. Let's take a look at this title and try to read it. Alright, so the first thing that I see is a sight word. And I know that this word does not come at the very beginning of the title, but it is such a popular sight word and I have studied my sight words and I know this word so well that it just jumped right out at me and I know that this word is and 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 there it goes all right so now we know that that middle second word is and Let's take a look at the first word and see what we can figure out here. So I know when I'm looking at a word and trying to read it that I'm always going to check and make sure it has a vowel. And if it doesn't have a vowel, it's not a word. So let's check this one. Do you see a vowel? Yep, right there, the letter A. That is one of our vowels. But I also know that a vowel can make two sounds and the letter A can make the sound A and it can make the sound A. Hmm. Well, I don't know which sound to use, so I'm not sure how to read this word yet. But I do know that if a vowel is followed by a consonant, then it's going to make its short sound. And the short sound of the letter A is A. Ah. So I know that this vowel is going to make its short sound A. Ah. But what if I forget? There's so many rules and there's so many letters. Hmm. I think I could put an adorable little smiley face on top of this. Or it's called a breve, I know. But isn't it cute? Okay, so that breathe is going to remind us, oh yeah, check me out, I'm a short vowel. So now, we see the breathe, we see the vowel, we're going to say, ah. But, we've been practicing reading ever since school started. I'm really used to having a consonant, and then a vowel, and then a consonant. But right now, Look at this. I have two consonants at the beginning of this word. Man, how am I going to read this? There's a P and an L. P-L. Wait a second, that sounds familiar. Oh, you know what? That is one of our blends. So, we have P and we have L, but if you put them together, they're going to make a blend. And I know that blends are still kind of a new rule, but one thing that helps me remember how they work is to think of them just like a river. And you see the river there, how it just flows around those curves and all the water flows together. There's not a part of the river just cut out and dry all weird, right? You're not going to be swimming and then all of a sudden reach just this dry piece of dirt right in the middle. No! The water flows together. So, just like the water in the river flows together, blends are going to also flow together. So, when you have this P and you have this L, you're not going to say, P oh. You're going to make it flow. So we're going to say pull. All right. That helps us out more. Now, we have a blend. We have a short vowel. And then at the end, just a consonant hanging out. That's the letter N. It says mmm. I'm good with that one. How about we try to read this word? All right, so we have the river. Pull, ah, mm. Let's put it together. Plan, plan, plan. Oh, that doesn't sound quite right. 
Now, one thing you're going to want to remember is that when we have A-N together, especially at the end of a word, it's not going to sound super fancy like un. It's going to sound just like we usually talk, right? It's going to say an. So, sounding it out helps get us closer, but if you can remember that an makes the sounds an, the word family an, then you're going to be perfect readers. So let's try this word one more time. We have pull a n with that word family an plan. All right. So now that means that we have not one but two words out of our title good to go. We have plan and let's look at that last word Whew, right there in your face. Okay, so just like with plan, I am going to look for a vowel. Do we have a vowel? Oh yeah, we have the letter O. So once again, this vowel is going to make two sounds, but there's a rule for that. If the vowel is followed by a consonant, it's going to make its short sound, and look at there, this vowel, this letter O, is followed by a consonant. So it's not going to make its long sound, it is going to make its short sound. Ah, uh... Aw, oh, man! My arrow went away! My circle went away! How can I remember that that O is going to make its short sound? Uh, what's it called? What's it called? A breve! Very good! Yes, we're going to put a breve on top of that vowel. And now I am ready to... Almost ready to... <sighs> Guys, there's still something weird going on. What's this? Okay, plan had two consonants at the beginning, and then that was a blend. I got that. But now this word has two consonants at the end, and they're the same consonant. So I can't even pretend it's a river if I say s I just sound like a snake. That's not right. That can't be right. So, I have two letters, and it's the same letter. Hmm. Well, I know when you have two of the same thing, that's called a double. And I know the letter S is a consonant. This must be a double consonant. And what I like to remember is that when I see a double consonant at the end of a word, all you have to do is cross one out and say it once. So we have crossed out that last S, and we're just going to make the S sound one time. All right, we have a consonant, we have a vowel with a short sound, and we have our final consonant sound. We've crossed one out, we're going to say that S sound one time. I do believe we're ready to read. Let's go. T ah, s. All right, put it together, and what have you got? Toss. Hmm, toss. All right. So, all together, let's read our title. Plan and toss. All right. Now, we're going to see these words in our story over the week. What I want you to know is that we don't have to keep going over and over the short vowel and the breve and the double consonant and the blend in these words every time because we're going to remember that. So if we see plan, we know it has a breve over that A, P, and then the O and toss has a breve. They're both short vowels. PL is a blend like a flowy river. And then that double consonant uh, at the end of toss, we're going to cross one out and say it once. Plan and toss. All right. I think we're just about ready to start reading this book tomorrow. See you then. Bye.